Hello everyone, I want to do a uh, start your day off right series video for Friday, <clears throat> July the 30th. Uh, my quote is, it is easier to build strong children than, repair, than to repair broken men. My story, I heard of a story about a 16 year old boy, man that lived in Ghana. He came from a very poor village. All he ever wanted to do in his whole life was to make a difference in the life of others. That's what I want to do. But as a teen, he left home in search of riches and wealth to bring back to his vi village. He eventually ended up working on a cocoa plantation. For seven years, he had no contact with friends or family. One day, he returned to the village. The people gathered around and someone asked him, What do you have to show for seven years of being away? What did you bring us? Where are the riches? The young man responded by reaching in his pocket and pulling out three tiny seeds. Is this all you have to show? Three tiny seeds, someone asked. Without speaking a word, he turned and went to the family hut and planted those three seeds nearby. From those seeds grew the first cocoa plant to be cultivated in his nation, and the second and third as well. Today, cocoa is one of the primary crops in Ghana. According to legend, it was started by one African man who planted three tiny seeds. So that's what we got to do is plant seeds. Remember, there's some people who say they're willing to help you in life, but they really won't. Don't depend on them because in many cases, they won't have the information, the wisdom, or the insight to help you get to where you need to go. Why? Because they are seedless. There are other people who will bless you for they will give you the seeds of life. These are the people who will connect to your dream and your passion and help you move forward. When you go to the supermarket, sometimes you'll see two different kinds of fruit, seedless fruit and fruit with seeds, but you don't know the difference until you look inside. That's the way it is with certain people. You don't really know who they are till you look inside them, look within. I want to you to plant yourself like a seed because like a seed, the outer shell is going to die off. And when that happens, you will cast your post negative experiences. You're going to become grounded in what your purpose is and what you're supposed to do. And you're going to endure some long winter nights and some long hot summer days. There's a price you'll pay for living your dream. You have to make some sacrifices, but it would be worth it if you were willing to stay committed. You're going to take root. And when you're rooted, you'll become fully committed, and you'll be unswayable. No one will be able to talk you out of achieving your purpose. One day you're going to come through the soil. You'll start to rise to take action, and momentum will carry you forward. When you surface, you'll see the results of your efforts, and you'll know that you're ready to make a difference. You'll, you'll be ready to plant some positive things, seeds, in other words, in other people. My scriptures, Galatians 6, 7, and 8, be not deceived. God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall reap, a, shall of the flesh reap corruption. He that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Thank you. Until next time.